after finishing this screen setup, I've been getting a lot of comments that I actually should have used darker screen for better contrast. And I do have to agree, for example, there is kind of really noticeable, noticeable area in the overlaps of these projectors where they shouldn't be dis displaying anything, but there's still brighter area. So in this video, I will be painting the screen with a proper projector surface paint and comparing the results to this that what I have here. I used the self-made paint mix to paint this surface, but then I got a message from smarter surfaces that asked me asking me if I actually would like to try out their ultra high contrast contrast paint, which is actually meant for gaming and movies on a kind of screens in low ambient light conditions. So yes, I would really much like to try try it out. So this video is sponsored by Smarter Surfaces. They sent me this package which should contain everything I need. And also they make different paints for different lighting situations. So if you're interested in it, check out the links in the description and their website. And before I am actually getting into the painting, let's just check, check this package out and what came with it. So let's see what we have here. First, just kind of basic instructions. So then we have just kind of basic paint, roller holder, two rollers, the paints themselves. So this seems to be top coat and also a separate base coat. And before I started the painting project, I actually took some test results that I did by, during night so there wouldn't be any ambient light. And I saved the settings that I had on the camera. So basically I'll be comparing those results in exactly the same conditions with exactly the same settings after I have the painting project done. But before I'm going to start painting, this is actually a great chance for me to fix one issue that there's in the edge between those two parts of the screens. There's this brighter spot that was is there because I just used some kind of wrong, wrong kind of filler. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to sand, sand it down. Then I'm going to apply some normal universal filler into the groove between these two sections. And finally, just to be on safe side because they're kind of the painted part and this part. I'm, I'm actually going to paint one base or two base coats to the whole screen before I'm going to start with these better specialty paints. Okay, so I ended up adding two coats of base coat here, just kind of normal normal white stuff and sanding after, afterwards. It might be a bit excessive. I think one base coat would have been called for because I ended up sanding, sanding the middle and applying some filler, but two, a bit excessive. But on the other hand, this is basically the second, second time I'm painting this in a short while, so I just want to make sure that everything is perfect. But now that this is done, I can start moving with the kind of actual projector screen surfaces. And as I mentioned, it, my two base coats here was a bit excessive, excessive since there's paint for the two base coats of them, their, their paint and then two top coats. But I guess it's just time to start painting. Well, after two coats, the base coat is already looking quite solid. So now it's time for two top coats with, with the much darker paint. Let's go. One interesting thing with this paint is that it felt much thicker than most of the paints that I have used before. But at the same time, I got the feeling that it did a really great job covering the surface. The surface looked pretty much ready even after the first top coat. Okay, after six coats of paint, the painting is finally done and yes, it was a bit excessive, but I have to say that results are quite good. And as I mentioned before, I was actually quite impressed how well the paint covered the whole whole area and how, we, how easy it was to paint it because, well, I'm not much of a painter myself and I actually don't like that much painting. So it's nice to see actually that solid, solid results. But now let's start everything up and compare the results. The green hue in this image is from the cockpit lights since I'm actually using them while gaming. And while the 
brighter section didn't completely disappear. It's much less prominent, but I think this dark image really shows how much deeper the blacks are. Out of the space and flight simulators I play, the deeper blacks would naturally be useful with space simulators, since the space is black. So I figured out since I play Star Citizen I could use that for comparing. But the issue is that if I would just record gameplay, it will be difficult for me to get exactly the same scene two times. So I just decided to take a couple of trailer videos from Star Citizen's creator CIG and compare them side by side. So the left, left side is before and the right one after. And naturally just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional tester and I don't have that much experience with different projectors or surfaces. These are just my experiences and something that I managed to whip out quickly. And this is with exactly the same camera settings which means ISO, aperture, shutter speed and white balance. And while there is still some brighter area where the projector images overlap, it's not that prominent and it doesn't bother that much even the darker, darker images. But considering that it's an area where two projectors actually overlap, I guess there's just no way to get rid of it completely, especially in complete black scenes. Naturally, I can't say what the differences would be if I would have used darker gray in my own paint mix, but at least in this case, the difference is quite visible. And also a quick test pattern from Immersive Calibration Pro, which is the software I used warp the image from its test pattern. All in all, I'm happy with the results. The painting was actually easy, the screen is really solid and contrast is quite good. And if you're interested in checking out smarter surfaces paint yourself, there's links in the description. And it's a good thing to realize that Smarter surfaces offer a range of different paints for different projection surfaces depending on the ambient lighting situation and projectors you're using. So this one that I'm using is for a low ambient lighting situation for ultra high contrast. But now that I have this project done, it's I guess time to start again calibrating the projectors because there's stuff moving all the time when I'm painting, painting this. So that's something I have to do again. And in any case, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.